from MCOM. We're going to Cap Rock Canyon. Got my backpack right here. Got me and got my bike. We're ready. All right, update. Yeah, so it's, it's, we it's have begun. Positive. We've arrived. Here's everybody waiting around. Allie's got her fun little glasses. <laughs> Yay! Walking around is hard work. Here comes another one. My friends, slash class. There we are. There's an update. We're seven and a half miles in. Got 20 miles more to go until our first official rest stop in Kitty Quay. Uh, but I think it's snack time for now. It's been harder than other times. But it's okay, the trails are fun. I'm enjoying it, we're getting through. This is a nice little escarpment in the rocks where humans so kindly blew apart the landscape to, be able to, to build a railway. What I think is really cool is you can see the stratigraphic layers of the rock. You see up there the darker, it's for more organic material caused by the trees, I think. I haven't really taken stratigraphy yet. Forget that last escarpment, looky here. Here we've got some real cool stratigraphy. Beautiful. Those nice red layers and the white layers. Cool stuff. I just climbed up this big rock. Get a nice shot of the beautiful landscape. I'm a little bit red, a little bit sweaty. A lot red, a lot sweaty, and a lot tired. It's been hard so far because the gravel's a little bit, a little bit harder to ride on the concrete. But it's okay, we're making it through and it's fun. Good workout. Crazy what you find out here. What has happened to you in your pants? I ripped my pants. <laughs> How'd you do that, SpongeBob? Um, <laughs> they got caught in my break. It's fine. We'll be fine. It's fine. Like See you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're about to go into the cave. It is home to a population of lots and lots of bats, and so we have to walk through it because otherwise we'd be getting dusty guano all over ourselves. Um, and we also don't want to disturb the ecology of the bats. So we'll go through and I'll give you an update when we're done. So we just came down from over yonder. Can't really see it, lots of people. Just a straight trail, straight, but it was terribly painful and hard because there was so much grass bumps and the dirt was not very tight and I thought I wouldn't make it. But look, here I am, I made it. Didn't even stop, didn't even get off, what can I say? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I thought I've caught my breath a little bit more. It's kind of pretty out here, I guess. Kind of nice, kind of cool. Still love my bike. Beautiful little sleeping pack that I slapped, strapped so well to my bike. Everybody's having fun. Only, only complaining a little bit. We're doing great. We should hopefully be in by four to our campsite. Right now it's only two. Uh, let's see if we make it on time. Just finished that second stretch, a very straight, long, grassy, rocky road. And it was not nearly as bad as the first round. It was good, and I'm getting better every time. Hey y'all, um, <laughs> welcome to my new home. It's uh, not much, not too pretty, nothing special, just kind of the coolest canyon ever. So we're all here, just chilling, just went up a little hill. It was a little challenging nothing we couldn't handle. Everybody made it up. We all did great. And now we are in the canyon and heading towards our camping ground. We're doing awesome. Check in with you later. 
Nicely done. <laughs> All right. We are currently sitting around waiting for several massive cows, aka bison, to move out of the road. We're very, very close to our camping site, I think, I hope. We're doing great. My legs get a little weaker with every, with every hill, but I'm making it. So we arrived at our campsite a ago. And we just did the Bikes or Death podcast, and it was pretty awesome. Here's everybody else. Mine is the black caterpillar looking thing. Getting very excited to eat my dinner of a peanut butter sandwich and perhaps some instant potatoes. Uh, well, it's been good. Frankie out. All right, guys, sick new update. Um, so we thought that our little pal, Michael Dean, was coming back from the bathroom. Um, it wasn't. It was a bison being chased by a dog. Um, and he galloped away through the trails approximately 20 feet from us. And I saw its little glowing eyes with my flash for a second, and then I put it down. Um, and then I heard it grunting. So that was really, really fresh and cool. So if we don't make another update, just know we were trampled and eaten by bison. Alrighty, just woke up for day two. And it's freezing. So we're going on a little walk and we're gonna look at the sunrise. We're gonna head out soon and I'm a little scared, but we did it last time. So we can do it this time. That's what they say, right? Just made it up three very, very tall mountains. They were taller than Mount Everest, I believe. And I got asthma going up every single one of them. Um, but I walked it and I made it up. Thanks to this little buddy. So, hard part over. Let's do this thing. And next up we have more riding directly into the wind, but this time we'll be on dirt and rocks and grass. So that'll make it even more exciting, but it's okay. We're getting closer to our cars and we all made it. Everybody's doing great. Uh, yeah. Update, we have just finished my least favorite part, I think, of the ride. Um, the really rocky, dirty road. So we finished that and it was pretty rough. I was at the back of the pack both times, but it's okay, I made through. I liked to use everybody else as a wind block, so that was my strategy for getting through the hard times. And now we're going back to the pretty part, so we'll have more opportunity to stop and rest, take pictures. So that'll be pretty nice. But so far, all has been good. We've been moving together and making it through, and it's been great. It's been pretty hard today. Pretty much everything that lasts longer than five seconds makes my thighs burn, but that's okay. I'm working with the gears and I'm getting better at the whole low gear. Means pedal more, but it hurts less. So that's fun, learning. And haven't had an asthma attack in a while. All progress, all good things. So I'll update you later on anything exciting that happens. Peace out. I don't know what it is about total body and mind exhaustion, but everything around me just has a much more serene and beautiful quality that I quite appreciate, and everything is just absolutely gorgeous. My thighs are somewhere between numb and on fire, um, but it looks like Ali and Alyssa are stopped up here, so I'm going to try to join them because that always helps. <sighs> right now, it's getting pretty hard. The only thing keeping me going is uh, every time I get to an escarpment, I like to stop and take a little photo op. That's really helping. Also, I gotta say, the most rewarding thing is catching up with somebody that I've been watching in front of me for quite a while. And that's happened twice now. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, also, the thought of a Crunchwrap Supreme is really keeping me going. I think that might be the most powerful of all of three. So I'll check back in with you later. What is really cool about doing this all the time is that I'm starting to get better at my bike skills, which means that I was able to look at my shoulder as a cute little baby cow ran across the fence and then jumped over it. So that's really fun. And other times I've been able to look back at things, admire the environment. So I think- um, We've been at our cars for a couple minutes now. When I first arrived, um, I did have a little bit of a, of a breakdown, did cry a little bit. I'm so happy to be back. Seeing my car was the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to me. I cried, Skylar cried, we cried together, we hugged. Um, but honestly, this, I'm so proud of myself. I genuinely did not believe that I could do this. Like as soon as we were starting going up those hills and I had my asthma attack,